Hey guys, in this video we'll be going over the Quicksand Lurker. The Quicksand Lurker primarily inhabits Misty Island. They are situated around the Stronghold, however they can also be found in Mountain Pass. This Lurker, like the Sea Serpent one I have previously covered, is referred to by multiple names. When in Misty Island, they are known as the Quicksand Lurker, even though they are residing inside mud pools. They are also known as Fireball Lurkers, even though they aren't shooting out fireballs, rather purple energy blasts. The one that can be found in Mountain Pass is referred to as the Plunger Lurker, as this one operates the detonator. The quicksand lurkers we find in Misty Island act like normal lurkers in an area. The one in Mountain Pass is a little different however. This lurker is waiting for the signal from the pedalcopter lurkers we have to beat to the end of Mountain Pass. If you fail to make it in time, the Plunger Lurker will push down on the detonator's plunger, setting off the explosions. Oh my! Those lurkers must be headed for a detonator at the end of the canyon! If they reach it before you do, they'll blow up the entire pass! You've got to beat them there and destroy the detonator, or it's all over! If you are able to make it to the end in time, you will see him hide behind a crate before you take him out. The pedalcopter lurkers will then fly overhead and off further into the cave. We did it! We stopped them from blowing up the pass! The lurkers in Misty Island are mostly beneath the mud, so it can be tricky to get a good look at them. The one in Mountain Pass, however, lets us get a good view. The quicksand lurker is quite short and very solidly built. Its fur is purple, with a large ridge of long fur running from its head down its back. Around its feet, it also has this long fur running up its legs. The underbelly, hands and feet are a lighter pink colour, and its mouth is extremely large, with a pouch like that of a pelican's. Like with the other lurkers, it has the spurs on the lower jawline, yellow eyes, and shackles. This time there are two, one on each wrist. This lurker also wears cloth, wrapped around its waist in an underwear-like fashion. The quicksand lurker resides in mud pits, and will emerge when you get within range. However, if you get too close to the edge of the mud pit, it will retreat under the surface. Likewise, if you enter the mud pit, it will do the same. When attacking the quicksand lurker, it will take a very deep breath and shoot out the purple projectile. This is where the name Fireball Lurker comes in, but it is unknown what the projectile is actually made from. The projectile will travel very slowly and in a straight line, making it extremely easy to dodge. After colliding with something, it will explode on impact into a large purple cloud. If it manages to hit you, the lurker will either throw its hands up in celebration, or wave them around, making a laughing noise. <laughs> to combat this lurker, you need to be relatively quick, as it has a habit of retreating under the surface. Punching into the mud is the easiest way, but kicks, dive attacks, and roll jumps also work. The quicksand lurker is an interesting lurker and quite unique. However, it is extremely easy to just walk past them, making them not much of a threat. And that's my overview of the quicksand lurker. 
Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.